Hi guys, welcome back to Theories Tutorials. Episode 2 of the series, Diet Related Health Problems, starts right now. And we're looking at Diabetes Mellitus. What do you know about Diabetes Mellitus? Okay, okay, all right, all right, let's find out some more in today's episode. Now, let us look at the focus points. So, in today's episode, we'll be looking at definition of key terms, types of diabetes mellitus, the causes, symptoms, and also complications of diabetes. Now, let us look at what is diabetes mellitus? What is it? Do you know what it is? Based on this image, could you coin your own definition of what diabetes mellitus is? Let us see what we're seeing here. So we're seeing part of the, could we say the digestive system, right? We're seeing pancreas, we're seeing the word, we're seeing some organs. One of those are pancreas, we're seeing liver also seeing words such as insulin blood sugar and then we see an arrow going down right can you put those clues together and coin a definition of diabetes mellitus all right let's see how close you are now diabetes mellitus is a chronic disease caused by inherited and or acquired deficiency in production of insulin by the pancreas or by the ineffectiveness of insulin produced a mouthful right now let us go back and take it a little bit slower right all right so diabetes is a chronic disease what do we mean by chronic Chronic diseases are those that take a little while to discover and they last for a while. So we're talking about months into years to the end of your life, right? So these illnesses or diseases stays with persons most time until they pass off, right? Or persons live with them for years. No. Diabetes is caused by a few reasons. It could be inherited, right? Remember we spoke of causes of lifestyle or diet-related health problems. We have two categories, which are controllable factors and uncontrollable factors. In this case, when it, if it's inherited, it would be what? Uncontrollable, right? You also have, it may be a deficiency in the production of insulin, by the pancreas or the, the the pancreas is producing the insulin but guess what it is not effective good so any of those conditions will that persons will be diagnosed with the disease of diabetes mellitus good let's move on continuing such a deficiency results in increased concentrations of glucose in the blood which in turn damage many of the body's system in particular the blood vessels and the nerves good and when we refer to glucose there remember we're referring to what to blood sugar also now let us look what is insulin I know you have heard the term previously but what is insulin Insulin is a natural hormone made by the pancreas that controls the level of blood sugar glucose in the blood, right? So insulin is a natural hormone that is produced by the pancreas and it is responsible for breaking down the sugar glucose, right? Now we mentioned that one cause of one cause of diabetes mellitus might be the ineffectiveness of the insulin or a deficiency in the body producing the insulin. 
so the pancreas may not be producing the insulin and if it is producing the insulin the insulin is not effective good now let us move on now to types of diabetes now we're going to look at two types into this today's session which are type 1 which is when the pancreas does not produce the insulin and also type 2 when the pancreas doesn't produce enough insulin or the insulin cannot be processed or we may say the insulin is ineffective so we have two types of diabetes type 1 and type 2 now let us look in detail on type 1 diabetes now it is formally known as insulin dependent which the pancreas fails to produce the insulin that is essential for survival so in type per patients with type 1 diabetes their pancreas does not produce any insulin and therefore they may have to take insulin injections or medications for insulin to be produced to be in their body so it can help to break down the sugar glucose right now let us look at type 2 type 2 diabetes formerly known as non insulin dependent which results from the body's inability to respond properly to the action of insulin produced by the pancreas so patients with type 2 diabetes their pancreas is producing the insulin but guess what the body is unable to process the insulin therefore the insulin is ineffective now checkpoint describe the two major types of diabetes mellitus can you yes you should be able to we have type 1 and we also have type 2 now can you state the difference between both also good job now let us move on to the causes of diabetes now based on the image that you're seeing here you can see so genetics obesity abnormal functioning of the pancreas now when the pancreas function abnormally what does that mean awesome you're so correct that means that there isn't any insulin being produced by the pancreas good job so you may have abnormal functioning of the liver food and lifestyle very important so if you're consuming too much sugary foods and put your body under pressure to produce as much insulin to break down the sugar in your blood then you can become diabetic also certain infections can, can cause person to become diabetic things such as increasing in age as well so as persons get older they're more prone to getting diabetes stress and also less physical activity see how these are important good now let us look at this look at the symptoms right and symptoms are what the persons would feel right when they're diabetic so they may feel a uh, thirst they're always thirsty right excess urine thinning you're losing weight and you're eating normally you're eating normally yet you're losing weight and you don't know why right also blood blood vision and always hungry so you always hungry yet you're still losing weight you're always thirsty and also excess urine as we and also blood vision now these are some of the symptoms that may hint to you and let you go to do a checkout to find out if you are diabetic right so you have control over these issues so therefore it's for you now to consume healthy good calories and also to exercise now let us list them in details so symptoms of diabetes as we said before frequent passing of urine good thirst and drinking lots of fluids weak and tired feeling lost of weight in spite of normal appetite or increased appetite these persons are still losing weight 
freaking frequent itching of skin blurred vision some people may say their eyes are cloudy right so these are all the symptoms and some of them are early symptoms of persons who are diabetic good so it's best to always keep check because the earlier you're in the know it is better for you to control certain types of diseases now let us look at complications of diabetes and when we speak of complication we may have these additional health problems just because you are diabetic right so areas or organs of the body that may malfunction or your brain right your eyesight nerves heart and also kidneys now complications develop mainly because of high blood sugar levels over the years now diabetes increases the risk of getting heart problems stroke eyesight problems worst case scenario some persons become blind and their blood vessels in their eyes are destroyed right kidney problems foot problems so some persons may have foot disease they may get a cut on their foot and it may not it may not well so they end up getting diabetic foot disease we have neuropathy right so that diabetes affect the nerves in the foot right and then person's foot it becomes swell you have skin problems as well right so it is important for us to take care of our bodies so we don't nest so we we avoid these types of diseases which can further lead our body into different types of complications now let us look at the checkpoint we're at the end you should be able to describe the two major types of diabetes explain four causes of diabetes outline three symptoms of diabetes and also to discuss three complications of diabetes right you're awesome you have made it to the end of the video need more content like this don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell also most importantly don't forget to share with persons who may find this content useful thank you for making it fairies tutorials